What is OPEC? Do you care? Yes, you do. Let me tell you why. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC for short, has been referred to as the cartel that controls the world supply of oil. It was first formed on September 14, 1960, in Baghdad by its first five members, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela, as an answer to the United States international oil conglomerates. Currently, it boasts of 14 members and controls approximately 30 to 40 percent of the world supply of oil and 80 percent of the proven oil reserves worldwide. I am joined by someone with hands-on experience, Mr. Russian. Are you in a hurry or are you just rushing around? <laughs> I do not laugh at your joke. <laughs> just a bit of humor too. Uh, humor is for the weak. Oh. Of course. Let's go over the three goals of OPEC. Duh. The first goal is to keep prices stable. They want to make sure its members get a reasonable price for their oil. By restricting supply, they can drive the worldwide price of oil up or down. The second goal is to reduce the oil price volatility. Oil production must be run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so small adjustment from everybody is preferable than suddenly oversupplying. The final goal is to adjust the world's oil supply in a response to shortages caused by unforeseen circumstances, like war or natural disasters. Hmm, I remember their most dramatic effects on world market came in 1973 when OPEC enacted an oil embargo on the United States and other nations that supported Israel in the Yom Kippur War. Duh. Seven European nations even banned non-essential driving on Sundays. There was such a lack of available oil. All this was due to OPEC. Historically, there have been many nations not affiliated with OPEC that have voluntarily adjusted their oil production in response to OPEC's decisions. These cooperating non-OPEC members were Mexico, Norway, Oman, and Russia. But Russia is no pushover, let me tell you. In fact, Russia is the second largest producer of oil in the world, and she leads a 10-country oil alliance herself. And in June of 2019, OPEC and this alliance have created a charter of cooperation, where they meet together and discuss and decide oil prices. These two groups together make up more than 50% of the world's oil supply. But it is important to remember that OPEC can only influence oil prices, not control them. Duh. It requires a unanimous vote between all member countries to change oil production, and with so many competing interests, it becomes very hard to do. Well, it looks like I am out of time. If I had more time, I would tell you interesting facts about OPEC, like, although each member state has equal vote, Saudi Arabia is the de facto leader due to its size and oil production. Now it's your turn. Do you believe that OPEC is just George Soros playing around? Partake in this survey and let your voice be heard. Let me know in the comments if you have a good idea for a topic. Cheerio what what? Till next time for destructive creativity, I am the narrator. I don't think that you are, how do you say in your country, pomegranate enough.